there, welcome back. Duffwolf here again with another Chill Out VR avatar tutorial. This time we're covering toggles, sliders, and facial expressions controlled via hand gestures. These are super simple to set up in Chill Out VR, especially if you're porting an avatar over from VR Chat, like we did in my first tutorial. By the way, this video is going to be quite a bit meatier than the last one, so I've created chapters for easy skimming. That said, I do highly recommend watching from start to finish at least once to understand each step of the process. So, we're back in the project from the last video, and the first thing we're going to do is go over toggles and sliders. This will be the chill out VR equivalent of the radial menu controls from VR Chat. However, I should make an important distinction over the previous video. In the first tutorial, I said activate all the accessories you want to be seen on your avatar. For this video, it is important that you ignore that instruction. You want your avatar to be in its default state. That's why my kangaroo is now missing his accessories, because when Kironeem built the original avatar, they were hidden by default. We're going to go over how to add controls to toggle them in real time within Chillout VR. To get started, click on your avatar and make sure you see the blue highlighter on it in the scene viewport. Scroll down to the bottom of the inspector. If you watched my first tutorial, these settings should look familiar. Click this checkbox at the bottom of the script labeled Enable Advanced Settings. This is where you can assign controls for float, integer, and boolean parameters just like in VRChat. For each control, click the plus symbol here to add an input. Next, add a name for your control. I'm going to call this one Hoodie since this control will toggle my avatar's hoodie on and off. You'll notice that it automatically fills out a parameter name to match. Next, choose the input type. This is what will show up in your in-game menu to control the parameter. There are a lot of options here, but by default it assigns a toggle, which is exactly what we want. Select the type of parameter it's going to generate. For a simple on-off switch, a boolean is easiest and doesn't cost any synced bit data. The default checkmark denotes whether you want the boolean to be true or false when you first wear the avatar. Check Use Animation and find the original animation clip used to drive the change that this control will enable. This could be anything from enabling clothing to swapping materials. The animation you're looking for is the one that changes the avatar from its default state, so make sure you're grabbing the right one. Drag that animation into the clip box, and that's it! You've assigned a parameter, control type, and animation to that input, and you can move on to the next. Complete this for every toggle you plan to add, and arrange them in whatever order you like. Hey, so I just gotta cut in here with some important information I'm adding last minute. Uh, you want to make sure that each animation that you're using for this has two keyframes in it. One on frame 0 and one on frame 1. If your animation only has one set of keyframes, once you toggle something on, it'll no longer toggle off, and you'll have to reset your avatar to fix it. Don't ask me why, it's just how Unity works. If you need to add an extra set of keyframes, just copy them off of frame 0 and paste them into the next frame of the timeline. This will be important for the facial expressions part 2, so keep that in mind. Generating a slider is similarly simple, but requires two animations instead of one. Create a new input, give it a name, and assign the slider type this time. You'll see there's now a slider for the default value. Check the Use Animation box once more, and you'll notice there are two animation slots this time. That's because sliders need an animation for both the minimum and maximum values of the range, and will blend between them. The way you set this up will be dependent on how the original animations were set. Some values may have been set to 0 by default, others at 50% so you can go two directions with one slider. Since the Tropical Kangaroo doesn't include any slider controls by default, I've created two animations for the sake of this demonstration, Tail Size 0 and Tail Size 1. If we take a peek inside the animations, you'll see that Tail Size 0 keeps my tail's root bone scale to the original value of 1 in all dimensions. Meanwhile, Tail size 1 doubles the scale of the root bone. I've named them tail size 0 and 1 to denote the minimum and maximum values of the slider. Drop your animations into the min clip and max clip slots appropriately, and set your default value to the right decimal value between 0 and 1. Since my minimum animation is the original size of my tail, I'm going to leave my default value at 0. Once you've added all your inputs, click create animator at the bottom of the window. This will automatically generate a controller using the parameters you've just defined. Once it's done, click Attach Created Override to Avatar to automatically assign the newly generated animator. If you need to make any changes to your controls later, it's as easy as updating your controls, then just click Create Animator again. The CCK will warn you that you've already generated an animator for this avatar, 
And so long as you're not trying to make different variants, that's totally fine. If you do plan to make variations of your avatar with different sets of controls, you'll want to make a duplicate avatar first and make the changes to the new one to avoid overwriting your existing animator. Now comes adding facial expressions to your avatar based on hand gestures. Rather than trying to make new animation clips or poking around in the animator, it's super simple to just combine existing animations. For this leg of the tutorial, I've switched projects to my friend Gwendolyn's avatar, as I've already converted it to Chilla VR, and the Feminine Canine by Julia Winterpaw has more facial expressions than the Tropical Kangaroo. I've already created her toggles and sliders, so now all we have to do is add her facial expressions. You'll see that the animator that was created with the generator has already wired up all of the required left hand and right hand animations. These are just the default animations included with the CCK. We're going to modify these by adding expression animations to them. By the way, for this part of the tutorial, I recommend modifying your layout just a bit to make it quicker to navigate between folders. You can add a second project window by right-clicking a tab, then Add tab, then Project, and then arrange them side by side to easily click back and forth between windows. Just remember to lock them to the folders you're using with this little padlock at the top right of each section. Then, take your animation tab and put it somewhere where you can see what you're doing. Now that we have our animations laid out before us and ready to work, Actually modifying the animations is really dirt simple. Just pick a facial expression, select all of its keyframes in the animation tab, and hit Ctrl C to copy. Then, select the hand gesture animation you want to link it to, click within the animation tab, and hit Ctrl V to paste. That's literally it. You've combined the facial expression parameters with the hand gesture animation, and since the default animation is already in the animator, you don't have to change a thing. Just repeat this process for each hand gesture you want a facial expression mapped to, and you're done! And there you have it! You now have toggles and sliders set up in your advanced avatar menu, and facial expressions mapped to your hand gestures. There's plenty more you can do with the animator generator, so don't be afraid to get creative and experiment! Chill Out VR is chock full of cool and fun things to make, so if you have any suggestions or anything in particular you'd like to know, leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see me make in a video next! I haven't even touched triggers or props yet, so drop a subscription to keep an eye out for future tutorials. If you like this video, do the engagement thing so YouTube recommends this video to more people and we can get more friends and chill out VR. So I actually have a bit of an announcement that I wasn't planning on making, but on Tuesday, August 9th, I am going to be doing a live stream here on YouTube. I am going to be helping a friend, Solus the Wolf, set up his avatar for Chill Out VR. I'm going to be taking questions from anyone in chat, and we can just talk about how to set this stuff up, what's coming down the pipeline, stuff like that. So definitely be there. More information will be coming on my Twitter, including what time the stream will be starting. So be sure to check out the description for links to that. I hope I get to see you there.